Hi friends. Today we're going to be doing another experiment with some ice. You don't need to color your ice for this experiment. You just need about five or so ice cubes that you can get from your freezer or you can make colored ice cubes. I did decide to, to color my ice cubes again because number one, I had a lot of fun doing it, but also I thought it would be easier for friends to see what I'm doing. So what I'm looking for today is how do different materials help ice melt or prevent ice from melting? I don't really know. So we're gonna do an experiment today and we're gonna be looking at just some household supplies that, that I have right here in my kitchen. You might have different supplies that you could use to figure this out. But I'm gonna put, I have five cups here and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pop my ice cubes in. So I have a red ice cube here, okay? I'm gonna just I'm gonna just put different colored ice cubes in. I'm gonna pop these out. Remember that these these are my fun ice cubes. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop some of these out. I'm gonna put a different color in each one. I got my yellow one. And I got kind of a blue one over here. I have a lot more of these here. I can use them for something else. But right now I have my ice cubes right here. I'm gonna just hold this piece of paper up over here so you can make sure you can see them. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some materials that I just found in my cupboard. And I'm gonna sprinkle them on top and I'm gonna be watching this over the next hour or so to figure out, did any of these things that I have in my house make my ice cubes melt more quickly than others? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be using is some sugar. I have some sugar, this, this sugar's actually almost done. And I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle that on the first, whoa, that was a lot of sugar. That was actually more than I, had hoped for but that's okay it's okay you don't need to use as much if you're if you're doing it but I want to label it to know that that's sugar okay so sugar is in there okay then I'm gonna go ahead I better not make this too too messy but it might get a little messy I'm gonna put some oil in the next cup I don't know if oil is gonna affect how quickly it melts okay oil then I'm gonna go ahead, I was thinking it might be fun to look at dish soap and see how if dish soap at all affects the rate of the ice cube melting. So I'm gonna pour that on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I have my dish soap label somewhere. Um, hmm. I'm gonna to have to make another dish soap label there. I have to remember to do that. Okay, then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna go ahead and stick some salt on. I need to be careful with this. Okay, salt. And then my last item. Okay. And then the last item I put in here was breadcrumbs. So I have this all set up. I'm gonna observe this over the next couple of minutes and then maybe even in an hour to kind of decide or see what makes ice melt the fastest or slowest. I'm already seeing, wow, this oil and this salt is is really making this melt quickly already even the sugar so it's pretty it's been pretty interesting I might have to come back in about 10 or 15 minutes to see what this all looks like okay see you soon All right, friends, I am back. It's about 10 minutes after I put these ice cubes in and I actually cannot believe this, but they are really melting. Now, these ice cubes weren't that big to begin with, so they were melting a little bit quicker. Um, so I'm here at the sugar one. That's definitely gotten smaller and actually it's like very sludgy in this cup. It's been really, it's really interesting. So that one, I have, that one's really, that one is melting. Okay, let me look at this. Look at this. This one's kind of melting more evenly. This is the oil where the oil was. Okay, that's that's kind of melting at a steady, steady pace. Let's check out this dish soap. Huh, funny, it changed the dish soap color, which is pretty.
pretty funny. Ooh, it's slimy and slippery. I can't even really pick it up. This one's a little bit bigger than the oil. I don't know if you, can you see that? Okay, it's, it's melting. All right, let's look at the one that had the salt. Oh, this one's definitely melting quickly. It's almost gone. This one looks like it might be working the quickest, but we'll, we'll check back. And then let me wipe this off. And then here's the one that had the breadcrumbs in it. That one doesn't seem, breadcrumbs don't seem to be doing much, but we'll come back and check this out in a little bit. Right now I'm making some predictions in my head about what's actually working the quickest. And I'll be back in another about 10, 15 minutes to, to see if anything's fully melted. Okay, see you soon. Hi friends, I am back with my experiment here. And this experiment went a lot quicker than I expected actually. I kept coming back to check it every like two minutes or so. And I was shocked when I just walked back over and look, the salt completely melted the ice. And it got me to thinking a little bit about when it snows. We didn't have a lot of snow this year, but you might remember that when it does snow outside, it's very icy outside. Sometimes big trucks and people put, I put salt outside to help melt the ice and keep it from slipping. And as we can see, wow, the salt really worked. It was the number one fastest way to melt the ice in my experiment. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I record that, that in my experiment, salt was the fastest way. Now, of the materials I used, I'm kind of looking again. It's funny how this, this sugar is kind of getting sludgy. It's, not, it's melting though, but it's, it's getting sludgy. It's, it's working, but it's sticky. This oil, the oil's working. It's, it's really interesting. It's not mixing, really. The dish soap is mixing up. And it's kind of, it's really getting small there. That, that looks like it's doing a great job. I will say, though, I'm, look at this. This is with the breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs really are not doing anything. They're not, they don't seem to be helping this ice melt. So I'm going to say the slowest is breadcrumbs in my in my experiment. So breadcrumbs really didn't do a whole lot. And as I was actually doing this, I was walking around the kitchen and I was thinking, oh, I could have filled a cup with water and dropped an ice cube in. I could have filled a cup with seltzer and dropped an ice cube in. I could test this out with so many different materials that I have here in my house. So I'm so excited to see what EC North decides to test out and see the rate of melting. Don't forget to send us your experiment and some pictures. We'll see you soon. Bye friends.